My name is Sierra Brown. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist here at Duke Health. Most of the kiddos that I treat uh, have feeding difficulties, so they might have a pediatric feeding disorder, um, ARFID, or picky eating, or maybe something from birth that has been challenging for them, um, as well as just kind of general pediatric diagnoses, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, developmental delay. Some kids have a difficult time with transition, so it might be hard for them to transition from playing to sitting at the table to eat, or they might not want to use the bathroom um, or stop playing for the day and get in the bathtub. And so transitions from different activities of daily living or um, other activities within their day, we work on lots of transitions. We always like to make sure that they're doing activities at home. When you're able to incorporate it into their daily routine, it's easier. Um, even as a parent, I have found that when I need to work on something, if I can incorporate it into my daughter's routine, it's easier. And so then therefore, I've learned to help coach parents to say, when in our day can we figure out this to work on bi these bilateral coordination skills or self-feeding or tolerating different textures, maybe in the bathtub. And so when in the day can we kind of fit in those skills is when I've kind of gotten the best buy-in. I think the most gratifying thing is just seeing parents feel empowered. Um, the, their reactions when a kid will eat something or does something for the first time, um, or they come back and they say, Miss Sierra, look what we did this week. Um, I love hearing and seeing all the progress um, because a lot of the times it's not a skill that was lost from a kid, but a skill that might not have uh, they've ever had. And so I really like seeing just like parents and even the kids just feel so happy that something is like progress is being made.